Now, where did I put this? Oh, well, hello. Uh, you know what? Welcome to today's family lesson. Have you ever been in a wood shop? Or have you ever been in a garage with somebody? Now, I remember the first time when I took a wood shop class, when I was in seventh grade, Mr. Bob was a phenomenal teacher. But one thing he did have was a lot of rules. For instance, one of the rules, if you were working with the bandsaw, you were not supposed to wear any loose clothing. And if you were wearing long sleeves, you had to roll them up just to make sure they wouldn't get caught in the saw while you were working with it. Also, he would ask to make sure that you were wearing safety glasses, which I still can't seem to find mine, but I'll get back to that in a sec. Now, I can see you're asking yourself, Bryant, what does all these rules in Woodshop have to do with today's readings? Well, because today, in our first reading, we heard the Ten Commandments. Now, these Ten Commandments were given to the Israelite people just after they were traveling through the desert from being freed from slavery in Egypt. Now, God didn't just give them these rules because he said, you know what, you look like you need rules. No. Just like Mr. Bob gave us our rules of safety in the wood shop, it wasn't just for safety. It's because Mr. Bob cared about each and every one of his students and wanted to make sure that you were taken care of while you were in the wood shop. Just so, God was giving these Ten Commandments to his people because God wanted all of God's people to know how to love and care for each other and how to show love to God through caring for one another. So, for instance, God said, Hey, don't talk bad about each other because, well, if you don't know already, that's just mean and that's not showing love. In the same light, if somebody has something that you think is cool, well, first off, don't take it from them, but also don't let it take over your life how you don't have that thing. And it all also, one of my favorite rules that even I have a hard time with is take a day of Sabbath. Take a day of rest. God wanted to make sure that no matter where we were on life's journey, we still took a moment to thank God and take a moment of rest, just as he did in creating this beautiful world that we live in. So, as you go out this week, I want you to think about how you can continue to care and love this world. Perhaps look at the Ten Commandments and be inspired how you can use these to show love to God and God's people. Because each and every one of us always needs to be remembered that you are called, claimed, and named Beloved Child of God. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for your Ten Commandments. Thank you for these promises to help to love others. In your name we pray. Amen. Enjoy your day. I hope... Oh, there are my safety glasses. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you next Sunday.